I knew this would be a fun, cool story to do at the Rusty Nail Winery and that the owners had a sense of humor when I saw these signs when walking in. I also knew that the store itself had a laid back, easy feel to it. It's big and open and on one side there's a fun gift shop area. Even finding out how the owners came to name this the Rusty Nail Winery is quirky and fun. Just so you know, the name was derived in a way from the building itself. Because it was originally built as a hardware store, it was W.A. Carter's Hardware. And we found lots of Rusty Nails in the back when we were renovating. We decided Rusty Nail was the perfect name. So Melissa went online and found some shoes with a, a heel with a nail. And that's where the nail on the, on the shoe comes from. <laughs> Open since September of 2010, the owners Debbie Alexander and her two daughters, Leah Lucio and Melissa Alexander Lee, put a lot of hard work into making this a comfortable place to browse, drink some wine, shop, and enjoy the company of friends. Well, we've really done pretty well since we opened. Um, we weren't sure if the town was ready for a winery yet, and we've had lots of people come in and say, we don't drink wine. And we said, well, give us a chance. We'll find something that you'll like. And nine times out of ten, we do. Well, I think the atmosphere and the cozy feel that we have really sets us apart from, like, if you go to the liquor store, you look at bottles of wine and you judge it by the label. Here you get to taste it and try it. And, and it's in an atmosphere that's um, warm and inviting and, and really out of the norm from what you would expect to see in Sulphur, Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, now we're at a winery, so let's talk about their wine. They have many from which to choose, of course, but one stands out as their most popular, and it's their peach. It started out as a summer wine, but Debbie says people won't let her just make it in the summer. The vintage or Little Black Pump is also a favorite among customers. Rusty Nail Winery is a family business, but Debbie is the person who makes the wine. No one else. She doesn't let anybody touch the wine. She's... <laughs> She's no, I, I, I do the wines, uh, and that way I know if I've messed up something. No one touches the wine except for me. Uh, I, I do all the mixing, and I tell them when they're ready, and then they come in and uh, sterilize the bottles and bottle them and label them, and then we put them out on the shelves. But it's just uh, Leah's husband and mine, and my sister comes down sometimes and helps out, but no, there's, there's very few of us. They are a few, but they get a lot accomplished, and the winery is growing fast. We have a lot of locals that support us, a lot of regulars that come in every week. A lot of week. people from Texas. A lot of, yeah, Texas, Dallas. And most of them bring other friends in with them. And then we have a lot of people from Edmond and Oklahoma City that come in and they hear about us through other people, so word of mouth has really helped a lot. And don't forget, the venue here can be rented out for all kinds of special events, and on Saturday nights, there's live music. Great wine, friends, laughter, and music. Now that's hitting the nail right on the head. At the Rusty Nail Winery in Sulphur, I'm Dino Lolly.